<laughs> Successive approximations. Successively approximating something. What is it that you're trying to approximate? Probably your target behavior. <laughs> um, for folks that, if, if you're completely lost and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you probably forgot the definition of shaping, which is the reinforcement of successive approximations of desired behavior. So successive approximation, <laughs> it's a hard thing to say. Successive approximation simply means that you're getting closer and closer and closer to your end goal, right? So if my goal is to, oh, I don't know, what should we try to do? Put on my clothes? Um, then the closer I get to putting on my clothes, like the first step might be just, you know, getting my clothes out of the drawer, right? You could read, congratulations, Ryan, you got your clothes out of your drawer. My mom did that when I was like seven, maybe six, maybe five. I don't know. I was an only child. I was. I am an only child. She'd, she'd probably still get my clothes out for me if I let her. Anyway, um, so she reinforced me for the, you know, getting the clothes out. Then the next thing would be she reinforced me for getting all my clothes out. And then the next thing she would reinforce me for taking my old clothes off. Then she would take reinforce me for putting all my clothes on you get the idea as we get closer and closer to the idea to the goal behavior of dressing myself you provide reinforcers for each step along the way and there has to be a lot of trials and a lot of attempts at that but th that's the core piece of the shaping process so successive approximations shaping life is good <laughs>